that Tesla will start to offer insurance for its cars and can price it better than a typical insurance company because of the data it collects from all the vehicles on the road. You've talked about the threat of autonomous vehicles on the insurance business, but what about the threat to Geico of automobile companies themselves getting into the insurance business? And on a very similar topic, Tesla recently announced that they're shifting to an online-only sales model, and several traditional auto dealerships are also reducing their property holdings as car buyers increasingly use smartphones and the internet to shop for cars. What does this portend for Berkshire Hathaway Automotive? Yeah. Uh, actually, General Motors had a company for a long time called Motors Insurance Company, and, and various companies have tried it. I would say that uh, uh, the success of of the insurance company of the auto companies getting into the insurance business are probably about as likely as the success of the insurance companies getting into the auto business. Uh, it, 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 uh, I worry much more about progressive than all of the auto company possibilities that I could see in terms of getting an insurance business. It's, it's not an easy business uh, at all. And uh, uh, I would bet against any company in the auto business being any kind of, a, out, uh, of an unusual success. The idea of using telematics in terms of studying, people, studying people's driver's habits, that's, that's spreading quite quite uh, widely and uh, uh, it is an important it is important to have data on how people drive how hard they brake how much they swerve all kinds of things uh, so I don't doubt the value of the data but I don't think that the the auto companies will have any any advantage to that I don't think they'll make money in the insurance business the uh, using the internet to shop for cars is like you know using the internet for shopping for everything it's another competitor and uh, uh, there's no question that people will look for better ways. Now, the gross margin on new cars, on new cars, is about six percent or thereabouts. So there's, there's there's not lots of room in the game, but but that's that will be a method, and that will sell some cars. And that there are, you know, it, it's 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 another competitor. But, uh, but I don't think it it destroys the auto dealer who takes good care of the customers and is. Is there to service the customer and no uh, uh, it, it, it's not a it's not an overwhelming threat but it's obviously something that's going to be around and we'll sell some cars Charlie Apple uh, I know that you've been buying Apple stock and more and more of it you got more than 56 billion now I have to ask you that Apple has been suggested by some analysts who are pretty smart that they should get into the electric vehicle business and maybe do so by buying Tesla. You and Charlie Munger, your vice chair, did this years ago with BYD buying electric vehicle and electric battery company. Um, would you suggest that Apple get into, or would you support it if they bought well, Tesla? Well, I would support what Tim, Tim Cook does, but I, I think. I think it would be a very poor idea to get into the auto business. It's not an easy business. And incidentally, the, the auto business is different than some. If, if, if you're a premier with Google on search or you're a premier you know, with movies on Netflix, whatever it be, there's a huge first mover and size and, you know, and, and, and network effect and all that working for you. You can win an auto one year and you lose the next. I mean, you've got a dozen big companies out there with resources, they're going to keep coming, they copy what you do, people move from one year to another, you don't worry about the fact that you know your whole life is on the iPhone as opposed to, you don't want your whole life to be in one car or something. It's not, it's not a, it does not give you a permanent advantage. The always colorful Elon Musk, the CEO, uh, got into a little trouble recently. If one of your CEOs did an Elon Musk type of tweet, I'm going private. Of course, they wouldn't go private, yeah. but uh, they revealed something they shouldn't have. How would you have handled that? Well, I think I think what you do if you misspeak, and I can do it with you or somebody. You know, I mean, if you misspeak, uh, you correct it immediately. And if you've got a stock that's trading like crazy, you come on three minutes later and and don't say and say I misspoke when I said lending secured. I meant to say I really think I can get funding. I mean, or something. Of the Bitcoin. Sort of